Float or GDD in dogs. Here are the signs and what you can do to prevent it. Typically, it's occurring in a large breed dog shortly after eating. Some of the clinical signs are restlessness, pacing. They're trying to retch and vomit. They're not bringing anything up. The stomach here palpated just in behind the rib cage. It's very distended, painful. It'll often even sound like a drum. The stomach will actually dilate, can then twist, leading to immediate signs of shock. If you see this or suspect this on your dog, immediately call your emergency veterinarian. The breed's most at risk and include the Great Danes, St. Bernard's, Weimaraners, but any large deep chested dog is at highest risk. How can you prevent it? Well, number one, you want to feed less to no kibble. When your dog eats kibble, it expands in his stomach, all that air, that can lead to the bloating. Number two, split up the meals. Breaking the food into two meals a day dramatically can decrease the incidence of this occurring. Number three, make the food switch to something real like meat, getting rid of that kibble, far less chance of GDV bloat ever occurring in your dog.